Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. We got a brand new free skin in the game, it's the Nomad Wild Snake, and in my opinion, it's the best free skin in the game. And you guys have about a month to unlock it, so today I give you guys all my tips. I did it in about 4 hours, the full stream was 4 hours, but I wasted a lot of time. So you guys can have it in about 3 hours of gameplay, maybe. Uh, you need a bit of luck, but with my tips, you should have no problem, guys. Uh, so yeah, Nomad Wild Snake, very, very cool skin. So here's how you get it, and for each step, I will give you my tips. So you gotta go on the events tab. Uh, it's brand new for the season six. You got seasonal events, and the last one at the bottom is called Survival of the Fittest. Is the chain of events you have to do, guys. You have to do all these quests one by one. You cannot do two at a time. You have to go on the first one. And then it's gonna unlock the second one and the third one. So first thing you need to do, guys, is open five airdrops in Battle Royale. And I did mess up at the start, but I think you can do all five in the same game if you get a lucky game, um, mostly with bots. Of course, if you get a lot of real players in your game and if everyone's going for the airdrops, it's gonna be much tougher. So tip number one for that one, guys, you should go solo first of all because if you go with friends or a team of randoms uh, there's a bigger chance or a higher chance that they will go for the airdrop first you need to be the first guy on the airdrop and you need to be the one opening it so when there's still the red smoke there uh, you can open it now for that one i went to firing range grab a, a chopper and the first airdrop landed on my side so i decided to shoot it down with the fhj and you will see it will drop um the first airdrop right where you shoot it so if you see the airdrop or the the plane uh is close to where you are try to shoot it down you don't have to chase it and you will be the first uh to be there i was very very close to where it dropped so that was my first one on that game and once again you have to be the first there because if someone opened it before you it will not count now after that be aware when you hear airdrop is coming uh, open your map, try to spot the plane and go straight to the plane where you see the, tr the trajectory on the mini map. Go, go where you think it's going and try to be first. And you're gonna see, if you take a look at the airplane while you fly on your chopper, you will see uh, the airdrop falling from the, the sky. So you can have an edge or a better chance to be the first guy there because if there's other players in your game, there's a chance they will go for it too. So you have the edge if you're if you're there first because you know it's going to be there. You get a better chance to be the first one to open it. Of course, if you're too fast, you have to wait a few seconds before you can open it. But like I said, uh, you might need two games to do that. Uh, I think it is possible to get five in the same game if you're the only one chasing them. But if there's a lot of competition, you might not be able to get all five. Just take the time you need, guys. One or two games probably, maybe more, but no stress. Once you're done with the five airdrops, first mission is over. So once you're done with the five airdrops, you have to go back in the lobby and claim your reward to unlock the next challenge. Now the next one is play five BR games. A lot of guys were frustrated because they said, I just played some games to get my airdrops. Now I have to play five more of them. And that can be very time consuming. But there's a super life hack, guys. If you don't care too much about your points and your rank, you can do that very, very fast. And here's how. If you want to do it super fast, just start a game on solo and mark the water. And as soon as you can drop, the button appears, drop and go straight to the water. And when you get there, uh, go under the water and drown. Uh, some guys say you should try going on the air, uh, the aerial platform and try to get killed super fast. But the thing is, you don't have to play the game. You just got to start the game and die. If you just quit the game, it's not going to work. Uh, it's not going to count. You're going to be penalized or penalized, but you will not have uh, one count on your five games. But if you go underwater and you wait until you die, well, that will count as one game played. Now, the thing is, you're going to lose a lot of points because you died super early. At Legendary Ranked, I lost, uh, I think, 29, 30 points for each game. So five times I lost 150 points, but it is very quick. So now, super sad story. I did actually D-rank 
by losing 23, 25, 29 points. I got back to Master 5, but I got my challenge done very, very fast. So it's gonna take about 10 minutes to just start your 5 games, wait in the lobby and die 5 times. Some guy in the chat called me lazy. I think it's more smart than lazy. Because, I mean, you're gonna play a lot of games anyways this month. It's just if you want to do it fast, okay? If you want to play all your five games, I mean, just play. But my tips today is to get you the skin as fast as possible. So if you don't care about your rank, do it that way, guys. And then you're going to get your next challenge, which is get into the top 10 once with no kills in Battle Royale. And by getting into the top 10, what they mean is... When the game is over, you are in the top 10 teams, okay? So you have to play a whole game without getting any kill. You cannot just get into the top 10 teams and then start shooting people. You cannot do that. It's the whole game you have to finish at zero kills. So best way to do it, guys, is play with friends. Let them do the shooting and the killing and just follow them around. You can mark people on the map to help your teammates know where your enemies are, but just stay alive. And try not to die so as you can see here we got the win i got zero kills but my teammates got 21 kills together and i did get the challenge so only one guy in the team needs to get the achievement now of course you can do it solo if you want it's gonna be a bit harder because if the bots follow you you have to run away the easiest way would be just get a chopper and go in the sky and wait for people to die and when you get near the end of the game, you can die. You don't need to win the game. You just need to place in the top five teams or top 10 teams, sorry. So yeah, you don't need to kill. Just stay in your chopper and wait for the game to end. But good luck, guys. It is possible. So, so far, it's not too long. Get five airdrops. Get, play five games, just drown in the water. And then that one can be tricky. You need to get in top 10 with no kills. Now, the next one is probably the most challenging for a lot of players. You need to run over and kill two enemies in Battle Royale. Now, I mean, some guys will agree or not. Uh, I think the, the way to go is the chopper. I like to smash enemies with my chopper. That's what I did in the past. I have a video on YouTube. Started getting some views in the past two days because of that. I did it again today. And I got both in my first game. Again, one shot, super easy. Here's how I did it. Now for this one, I really think you should go solo because if you go with a squad, there's a chance they might steal your kills and these bots sometimes it doesn't take much to kill them. So try to go somewhere where you know there's a chopper. It could be Nuclear Plant, Overgrown, Sakura. Uh, this game I went Countdown. Uh, you can go Firing Range. Anywhere you want, just at the start of the game, go straight to a chopper and try to loot a little bit at the start real quick and then get a chopper and this is what I did. Now once I got my chopper, I had some ammo and, and some weapons. I went on the edge of the map, you know where when you see these like uh, red wall? This is the edge of the map. And I remember a while ago when we were there uh, looting for a uh, airdrop, we had bots, they kept spawning and coming to us from the edge of the map. So I don't know if there's something with the borders that makes the bot spawn, but I went to the border, I activated my uh, mechanic drone, and right there at the start, uh, a bot spawned and came to me. So once I saw the bot, I just shot a few bullets. So it's going to be easier to, uh, to, to, to kill after that. But just worry, guys, about the bot shooting your chopper. Uh, if you lose your chopper, you die. Uh, and I struggle a little bit. But once the bot is weak, just try to land on him. And it's going to count. You see the... Um, you will see the kill feed. JC Gaming, vehicle, the bot. So you have to see the vehicle icon. Now my chopper was badly damaged, so I just went back to countdown, get a brand new chopper, and I did it again. So I got a new chopper, I shot uh, another bot spawn there, and then I tried to smash the, the bot again. And again, I'm struggling, but you need to try to squash it. Uh, and check my chopper again, 19%. But I got the kill, so I went to the water, I killed myself, and the challenge was over. So you can do both in the same game. All you need is a chopper, a weapon, and some bots to spawn on you. Now, some guys say it's easier with the ORV or the quad vehicles. I mean, it's personal preference. I always did it with the chopper, and I can confirm it still works. So whatever works for you guys, this is my tip, and use it if you want. If not, you can do like maybe motorcycle also is pretty fast, but 
uh, I felt comfortable with the chopper. All right, next one. Kill 20 enemies in BR, and then you can just go solo versus squads if you want. You can get 20 kills, go on launch base or something where you know gonna be a lot of people. Just get a bunch of kills. If you die, start another game and do it again. I mean, if you don't get 20 kills in one game, you can do it in 10 games if you want. I mean, there's no stress, but the faster you get your 20 kills, the faster you can get to the next one, which is win two games. Now guys, a lot of players try to win right now. Everyone wants to finish their mission. So you get some easy games, you get some harder games. Uh, just keep playing until you get a win. Of course, I think it's better if you play with friends because if you have a bad luck, they can revive you. Uh, you never know. But uh, check out my battle royale guide. I have a great guide on YouTube uh, how to survive and the best places to land. Choose your favorite weapons and then Go for high grounds, it's how you win games. Go to mountains, try to have a better view of what's going on. I mean, if you go for kills, you're not guaranteed to win. You have more chances to die if you go for action. The way to win in Battle Royale is play smart, play safe, and try to win at the end. Don't try to win at the start. But that's pretty much it, guys. Once you're done with these challenges, you get your brand new skin, Nomad Wild Snake. And once again, Guys, type in the comments. If you don't think this is the best free skin, well, tell me what is the best free skin in the game. I cannot wait to read your comments. But this one is freaking amazing in my opinion. I love it. Again, if you enjoyed these tips, guys, smash the like on that video. Subscribe to the channel for daily Call of Duty Mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.